a hexagonal prism of base height 25 mm and axis length 55 mm rest on the HP on one of its base edges with its axis inclined at 30 degree to HP and parallel to the VP. Draw its top and front views. Okay. Start drawing. Units. Enter. Precision. Zero. OK. Then limits. Enter. Zero comma zero. Enter. Two ninety seven comma two ten. Enter. You enter. All enter. Then take rectangle zero comma zero enter two ninety seven comma two ten enter okay as usual dimension dim style modify symbols and values two point five okay text text height five primary units precision zero okay. Set current, close. Home page, ortho on. Take line, draw the reference line here. Then, go to polygon, number of sides, 6. Enter, this is the center or edge. So, type E. Enter. Then first click, then click here. First you have to type E, then enter. Just click anything. Just to store like that. So here the horizontal axis. So it's 25 mm length that is given. So 25 enter. Then draw the projection line. Then here you have to on polar tracking. Just click, then draw the line here to here, draw the line here to here. Then maybe you change the color for differentiation. So take yellow color, take a line, just draw this line. Height 55 mm that is given. So 55, enter. I can take here to here also 55 enter join this line from the center also I have to join okay then you copy this to so take a copy command select object enter then space point just to click the base point here just to move the cursor okay just to pick it then escape. Then you have to rotate for 30 degree. So take a rotate command here. Rotate. Select object. Enter. Select the base point. It is a base point. So pick enter. The angle of rotation is so clockwise. Okay. You have to rotate here. 30 degree. So you have to put the value minus 60. Okay. Minus 60. This is 30 degree rotation, okay. Here you have to draw the projection lines. Change the color. Draw the projection lines. Here to here. Here to here. Then here to here. Then here to here. Similarly, you have to draw the projection line. Here to here, and again, here to here, and again, here to here, okay? As usual, 
maybe change a color okay this is the first line here is the first line take a line first line intersect with here so first one second one this second one it is third one the third line is actually hidden line so just try it to so change the hidden line okay change it and again similarly you have to draw line then draw the line here then draw the line here then similarly have to draw the line here too here it is viewing one then here to here this is actually you have to draw using trim command take a trim command then trim select the object then put enter and trim unwanted lines here here these are all unwanted lines these are all unwanted lines okay this is a hidden line so select go to by layer load others load this is the asset line okay as a line so now you have to select this line change the dashed line okay likewise i have to draw a line dash line here to here Go to by layer, change the line thickness 30, line weight option, display line weight, click OK, then select, sorry, just pick, hold select, then just pick, hold select, just pick, select, just pick, select this, and change the to ATM point three zero this is a line line or to delete this line and draw the getting line we have to here and here too, yep, it's a hidden line. It is also hidden line. Okay. And as usual, you have to give a commands. Change it to by layer. As usual, thickness. Very hard to delete the line, so we have to draw again. This one.
category. Now take extend line option. Here extend this line, select this line, run this one, enter this line. Now you have to draw here to here one line daily. Then again you have to change line thickness option 30 and then draw this line to this line. This is for only notation purpose. Okay. Now you, you may check uh, another one you missed. You have to here also. And projection lines there. We missed that. Okay. So all projection lines. The dimensions. The angular dimension. This one 30. The dimensions. Linear. This one. Then dimension. This is an. Then online dimension. This also 65, okay, 55. Then you have to text, enter all the text as usual, multi line text, single line text. This is the starting point. So pick here, just to put 5, enter, then 0, enter. Then you may give name all dimension. Or in M1. And you have to give a notation also. Here A, A1, A and 1. Here also P2, P3, like that. The notation I will show it in PPT. You will, you may give a notations, okay. Likewise, it's a notation. Not only notation here, A1, A within the bracket 1, B within the bracket 2, C within the bracket 3, D within the bracket 4, E within the bracket 5. Here, 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, then 4 dash, 5 dash are the hidden lines, 6 dash here. Here, A1, here A, so here A1. Here B, this B1. Here C, this C1. Likewise, you have to give all the notations. Here 2 dash, 1 dash, and B dash, A dash. You refer this and give the notations. As like that, okay. Thank you.